After a tornado destroyed this small town, it rebuilt on a 100% clean energy plan. All of our pioneering ancestors were the original green people. They drilled a water well when they settled here. They used the wind to pump the water out of the ground. In 2007, Greensburg, Kansas was forced to start again, and they started on a green energy grid. Today, they produce more energy put onto that grid than they take off of it. May the 4th, 2007, 95% of the community was leveled by an EF5 tornado. It left us all homeless. My wife and I were in the basement, and it sucked the house right off the top of us. We knew it was gonna get close. We didn't know it was gonna hit. You know, my younger daughter, my wife, and myself were in the basement. When that tornado hit Greensburg, about half of the town's 1,500 residents moved out. Those who stayed, including Mayor Bob Dixon, made a choice to try something new, despite the politics around it. Green to me and my uh, generation in rural America was 1967, powder blue bell bottom pants, double knit with a tie dyed shirt, possibly on some mind altering substances, hugging a tree. That's what green was because we played political football with the environment for since then. Energy here, it's put onto the grid and then from there it's disseminated throughout the regional pool. Right, so the 23 member cities of our Kansas Power Pool share in the energy that's produced here. And by harnessing the wind, Greensburg produces even more energy than it consumes. It runs a wind farm south of town, while businesses and the K-12 school operate turbines of their own. And many buildings are designed to save energy and maximize clean energy. We use the turbines around here to uh, help generate electricity. It helps our electricity bill, I'd say, probably by half. Um, you can see the lights aren't even on in this room because they don't need to be. We have plenty of light in here, just daylight. Um, we have a windmill out here that, that we uh, utilize. It's more efficient, and we try to explain how that works in class, and we try to incorporate that into our classes as well. Post-recession, many parts of Kansas have struggled along with the rest of rural America. But with Google and Kansas City putting money into clean energy, the sector holds the promise of new jobs. Is Kansas just a better place to collect wind energy? The upflow on the elevation from Oklahoma into south central Kansas is some of the best consistent year-round wind in the United States. My dad and granddad always said, leave it better than you found it. It didn't matter if you were cleaning up your room or you were talking the environment, you just leave it better than you found it. 